Morning, Musta. Morning, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very, very fine. How was your day? That's good, that's good. How is Nigeria, bro? Yeah? How is Nigeria? Fine, fine. We are all fine. How was your day? Is it Malawi? What? Uh, are you from Malawi? Yeah, I'm from Malawi. Okay, how was your area? Ah, oh, my school, fine. Just in the way that sometimes they are, as you know, it's like the same thing. Is there any problem uh, that you are facing there? Hmm? What is this? I need to be looking. That is why you are not hearing me clearly. Don't get it. Mm. How is your wife? <laughs> Mara, <laughs> what? I don't hear my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Morning to everyone. Hey, morning. morning. How are you? How was the journey? Yeah, we are fine. And you, Andrew, how are you? Yeah? yeah. How fine. How was the day? I'm not ready to be my mother. How was your beautiful day? Very good morning to all of you. Uh, uh, you know, I would request all of you to kindly mute your microphone so that you can listen to our resource persons uh, clearly. Uh, as uh, you all know that uh, today we are starting our presentation on BSW 121, that is uh, professional uh, social, professional and so, professional social work and its values that is BSW 121 and uh, I think uh, most of you must have gone through the study materials yesterday also I requested all of you to go through the study material and come to the counseling class with certain points so that uh, you will raise those points in front of the resource person and a discussion would take place on those points so if you have uh, uh, you know some points you will uh, raise those points at the end of the presentation uh, today uh, our resource person is uh, dr konde lingaswami he is a faculty member from our school of social work working at igno headquarters new delhi and uh, he was also present in the induction meeting and he gave you a brief outline about the program uh, and also spoke to you about the practical activities involved there in BSW. So he's very much available. Dr. Lingaswamy, you are also welcome to this platform. You are requested to kindly start your presentation. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, hello, learners. Uh, welcome to the course, BSW 121, Professional Social Work and its Values. I am appreciating you, I am welcoming you, you joined in this program, BSW G O L program. This is a program purely social work students who are interested in learning and working with the community working with the society. Now I will uh, start our counseling session with presentation.
Yes, my screen is visible. Yes, we can Hello. Yes, we can Hello. Yes, yes, it is visible. It is visible. Okay. You can see now. Uh, this course is part of uh, BSWG online program, BSWG OIL program. Now it is visible. My slide is visible. Yes, 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 yes. You are very, your slide is very much visible. Okay. In the first semester of this program, we have three courses, namely uh, Begla 135. Uh, this course is a credit course, uh, English, English in daily life. Uh, second one, BSW 121, Professional Social Work and its values. The third course, BSWL 104, Practical Credits, 10 Credits course, Social Work Practicum 4. Coming to the course, BSW 121, Professional Social Work and its values consists of four blocks. First block, introduction to professional social work. Second block, basics of social work. Third block, values of social work. One. Fourth block, values of social work. Two. Objectives of the course. The course will introduce you to the discipline of professional social work. This course will identify and clarify these concepts which are used in social and social welfare sectors. The social work students cannot understand the subject without the basic concepts of the social work. So here we discuss the, the basic social work concepts. Professional social worker needs to understand the basic social work concepts because he or she works for promoting human and social development, improving people's participation in various types of programs. What are the concepts? Generally, we are using the following concepts. In social work, is called uh, charity, voluntary action, voluntary manual labor, sremadan, social service, social policy, social welfare services, social security, social justice, social network, and lastly, social work. Most of the people who are the people don't know about the social work. They are believing, they are feeling that charity, they, they believe charity is social work. Voluntary action is, uh, is also social work. People do uh, some activity, physical activity or manual labor. They are also feel I am doing social work. 
few people providing some services to the needy people they are also feeling i am doing social work some religious organizations providing some services materials to the needy they are also feel they are doing social work no it is wrong how social work what is the difference uh, between these and social work these are the synonyms sim similar concepts in social work we'll discuss one by one first one charity quite often charity particularly the giving alms is also considered social work which is not correct charity in the sense of assistance given to person to whom one is not socially related or channeled through religious institutions this charity or charitable organization ch charitable activities channeled through religious institutions religious organizations most of the organized religions all over the world have practiced charity as a great virtue quality you can see the religions all over the world they believe they feel charity as a great quality the hindu religion sanctifies charity you know in islam charity has been designed as a equivalent believed as equivalent to prayer the giving alms is one of the five basic tenets of islam zakat you know the basic tenets of islam the giving alms is one of the basic tenets of islam to do some charitable activity it is equivalent to the prayer in islam christianity advocates brotherly by love you know across the world christian missionaries providing some charitable activities to the needy or poor buddhism and jainism both have advocated compassion for the poor and the needy where from originate all kind of charity the both religions have advocated compassion for the poor you can see all the religions hindu religion or islam christianity buddhism and jainism all religions are believe provide some charitable activities to the needy or poor this is like a holy activity charity whether in cash or kind if you have some goods or if you have some material materials you can provide who are the needy people in the name of cash or in the name of material it is different from social work in the sense that the previous results in the temporary relief and makes the beneficiary depend on the donor in social worker in social work the recipient temporarily depends on the donor or social worker in the charity concepts the recipient depends on the donor why because the donor providing some material good or cash or kind whereas the latter though having its roots in charity develops the capacity for self help 
among people either by rendering service to them or by introducing required changes in the obstructive and depriving social system. We can say examples, distribution of goods and materials which satisfy instant need of the individual or community. Like distribution of relief materials during natural calamities, natural disasters. We can say the suitable example recently natural calamity has happened in Turkey in the name of earthquake. Number of charitable organizations, number of charities, number of religious organizations, they are working in the field level where the earthquake was happened in Turkey. There is no agenda, only they are providing some material goods, they are distribution of goods or materials or they are, they are distribute some cash or kind also. If you have anyone, if you have any experience this type of charitable activities, just share your experience, just uh, share to all our friends. After that, we will discuss next concept. Anyone have any experience? Have you seen these type of charitable activities, sir? Yes, sir. I do. Can I go on? Yes, yes. Tell me. Okay. Um, thank you so much for the session. Um, some years ago, when the Boko Haram crisis, Boko Haram crisis started in Nigeria, I am yes, yes, part of the. I used to volunteer with an organization there in Borno State, here in Nigeria, where they distribute some relief money. Yes, you are. You are saying to. Hello. Hi, sir. They are internally displaced people who lost their um, who lose their family and their um, property. Yes. Yes, they they, they lost their houses, they lost their spouses, children, and everything. And their community or their locality is completely damaged. They have nowhere to be. The camps, uh, there was some relief. Please, how much you uh, miss the night? Okay, so um, as I'm saying, at that time, the company is those people who don't have anywhere to come themselves to. They were um, directed to the. Can you move your mic, please? Okay. Okay. okay, I'm going so, to um, uh, next concept. Uh, they, 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 they were actually uh, displaced people. They have nowhere to be. So they were given an opportunity by the state government to come themselves in a specific area so that people will easily locate them as uh, internally displaced people. So I volunteered and worked with an organization where we are distributing relief materials to this kind of people that has to do with food stuff, uh, mattress on where to sleep, blankets, and some support of medical um, outreaches in order to ease their suffering and give them access to some um, uh, nitty gritty materials. Yes, yes. Ease their, their yes, in the, in right. the name of material goods like medicine or food, uh, food distribution or uh, kind of cash or kind, whatever the distribution they are, they are doing. Okay. Next time, yes, thank you. Uh, going another concept. Yes, yes. Uh, other concept, uh, voluntary action. Yes. Hi, sir. 
Yes, yeah. Ini. Uh, uh, good salam. Good morning. Good I have something to say. Uh, yes. So, uh, recently, uh, you made mention that uh, uh, charity uh, is not only giving arms. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, what uh, uh, the relief that are given to the uh, refugees? So, please, can we call it uh, as charity? Hello. Hi, sir. Are you with me? Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. Uh, when I'm. I said uh, that uh, the uh, relief that I given to the refugees. So oh, can we call good. it uh, charity? Yes, yes. You are you are the individual. You are you are doing some uh, voluntary voluntarily. You you are uh, giving some in the name of cash. I will explain the uh, next next slide. What is the Sir, voluntary is action? You, you are doing yeah. some voluntary action. Okay, Mustafa. T me. Yes, and um, I used to do it, but a little. Voluntary action is that action which is done by people voluntarily on their own will and accord out of natural feeling of compassion and concern for well being of others without expecting any kind of tangible material gains. Just now, Mustafa has shared his personal experience. Voluntarily, he has given some. Money to the refugees in Syria. Uh, sir, there is no Turkey. problem. We are not hearing you clearly. So here, voluntary action, which is done by people voluntarily on their own will, out of natural feeling of compassion. There is no sympathy and empathy, and concern for well-being of others without expecting any kind of. Uh, tangible material gains. If you are giving something to the refugees, you are not expecting from them. So this is voluntary action. It is direct or indirect help which people individually or collectively provide out of their feeling of compassion to assist others, especially those who are the victims of poverty, ill health, Idleness, illiteracy, suppression, oppression, abuse, exploitation, etc. In the present age of individualism, materialism, and hedonism, this self serving tendency has also increased. This has adversely affected the voluntarism and voluntary action. In the present age, we know this individualism, materialism, hedonism has also increased. Everyone, every individual, they want lures, they want urban lures, they want material, material things. He, the individual thinking about his family, his personal career, his achievement, his financial achievement. Individualism and materialism. This tendency has also increased. This has adversely affected the voluntarism and voluntary action. There may be a number of sources which may strengthen voluntarism. 
For example, some moral speech may strengthen the motivation to provide voluntary services. Likewise, the exemplary acts of some philanthropists, charitable organization may strengthen the feeling to help the suffering humanity. In the same manner, some horrible incident or a tragedy may generate the feeling to do something for the victims. Recently, here I want to share my uh, one personal experience with you. Recently, Government of India has announced Padmasri Awards. The awards are the prestigious awards by the Government of India. Recently, one person is basically from Andhra Pradesh. He has awarded by the Padmasri. When his family, his wife and his daughter and son were killed in the Air India flight bombing in, uh, in the year 1985 of the coast of Ireland. Then he resigned his job at Canada. Earlier he was stayed in Kerala, uh, Canada. Then he returned to India. He established one organization on behalf of his wife's name, Manjari Samskriti Foundation. After that, he established one school on behalf, of, on behalf of his daughter name. After that, he established Ophthalmology Institute, his son name. After, now he is also doing his work. When the person, his name uh, Sankuratri Chandra Shekhar, you can uh, search in Google also, just I will share with you the links and uh, paper cuttings of uh, about the personality, Sankuratri Chandra Shekhar. Why I am stressing is case study. Some horrible incidents or tragedy may generate the feeling of feeling to do something for the victims, something for the society. More morals taught by parents, teachers, seers and other role models may also motivate a person to engage in some kind of altruistic actions. Here I can say one example, Bhutan movement by Vinoba Bhave. During independence, of India, Vinoba Bhave appealed to the landlords who are having thousands of acres land with them. Vinoba Bhave appealed to the landlords and the Jamindars or kings. He requested them. He appealed them to give some extent of land to the who are the people, who are the landless people. Many of them, many of the landlords, after his preaching, after his moral thoughts, after his appeal, many landlords hand over their lands to the landless people 
who are the people don't have land. Few names. I have personal experience with the name in the in the in the Telugu. Budan means land donation of land to the landless people. The town name. Uh, one landlord has given to the landless people to his own land. After that, his village name, his town name, has renamed as Bodan Pochampalli. Earlier, only the name is Pochampalli. After that, the village name renamed as Bodan means he has donated land to the landless. So this type of uh, activities, this type of incident was happened. Only because of moral thought by Vinoba Bhavi. You know, Jati Pita of India, Mahatma Gandhi, during India independence movement, he has appealed to the people for support of India independence movement. Many examples is there. So here we can understand people improve their violent rhythm by moral thought or by some horrible incidents or tragedy. So different ways we uh, adopt this violent rhythm or violent reaction. Next concept, voluntary manual labor. Uh, before uh, voluntary manual labor, uh, regarding voluntary action, if you have any doubts or experience with this, the concept of voluntary action, just share your experiences. Sir, sir, I have a question. Hello, sir. I have a uh, yes, question. Yes, Sahir. Yeah. Yes. What I want, okay. what I, if I understand this, what do you mean by voluntary action is that somebody to just willingly volunteer and help people. For example, without being, I am a rich and I have a, I have a, a lot of wealth. So that I want, I want to help someone who is maybe poor, for example. So for that, if I voluntarily take something out of my wealth and help that person, is that what you mean by voluntary action is here? You yourself, yourself do something to the needy or poor. I'm saying what I'm saying is if I do that voluntarily, voluntarily, Volunt I just take my wealth. Yeah, I, I take my wealth and help someone. For example, I, I have somebody who is. Who you is are jobless. not expecting from them. Return you 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 yeah, won't expecting, expect any, anything expecting. from them. Thank yeah, you materials. Anything from them. Yes, I'm not expecting anything from them. Then I I I, I give them maybe some something to start a business. Is that kind of voluntary action you are talking about? No business. No no business. Only not to business. To do something. To do something to help themselves. So what I'm saying is, I am not expecting anything in return. From them. Yes, yes. But you, you are doing voluntary action. Yeah. Voluntary. For them to yes. be independent. Is that for them just to, yes, for yes. the person I I do not that thing seem to be independent? Is that voluntary action? Yes, yes. I yes. understand this question. So that means it can come in different dimension. For example, if I voluntarily teach somebody how to do something, for example, I I, I gather some 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 youth who are not going to school. And I teach them yes. how to uh, voluntary, kind of voluntary action. That voluntary action. Okay, thank you. I yes, the yes. Concept. Thank you. Uh, Any more? Uh, 
another uh, concept voluntary manual labor here in india we are using shramadan actually the word voluntary manual labor before this uh, we discuss voluntary action here in the name it is clearly showing manual labor voluntary manual labor there is a general tendency among people to label voluntary manual labor as social work which is thoroughly incorrect and misleading promotion of some common public good or protection of some common public interest there has been a very healthy tradition of working together voluntarily for promote people's well being throughout the world here even now there are innumerable examples where aggregates of people work together by contributing them manual labor to bring about improvement in the conditions of people's life and living maybe through construction of roads construction of canals construction of irrigation channels construction of drains in our locality even the government has launched such programs in india like a national service scheme national cadet corps ncc and nss wherein educated youth are required to contribute their manual labor voluntarily to better the conditions of people in the areas in which they decide to work here in the name voluntary manual labor some promotion of some some common public good or common public interest come together working together voluntary for promote people's well being throughout the world you start from your your community your neighborhood your society your locality you do some work you do some activity voluntarily group of youth come together in the indian villages many examples is there youth come together and construct construct roads are clean uh, um, remove remove the uh, unwanted um, trees or and construct some canals for water and construct some irrigation channels and construct some drains and removal of plants in drain cells removal of waste in drain cells this is not a social work this is only voluntarily voluntary manual labor we are doing something in the in the manual labor earlier we discuss provide some material materials or cash here we are donating some manual labor to the community or society where an educated youth are required to contribute their manual labor voluntarily to better the conditions of people in the areas in which they decide to work if you wanted to do this type of work to decide which area is suitable for your activity suitable for your work which area is needy to do something this type of activities 
and india government has launched programs like national service scheme nss who are the students join in this national service scheme they spend minimum 7 to 10 days villages rural villages and do some activity like construction of roads cleaning of uh, schools government schools painting to the government schools awareness to the people about cleanliness all the activities done by the students who are joined national service scheme nss and the national cadet corps ncc who are the students join these programs they have some credits government will give some credits to them based on their performance at the time of work Uh, regarding this voluntary manual labor if you have any experience or doubt on this uh, concept voluntary manual labor so i have a question yes uh, sir so, uh, like uh, what i saw uh, in the dashboard uh, so please uh, what are the different between the eh uh, ramadan and the ishramdan ramadan is a hindi word voluntary manual labor is a english terminology ramadan is a hindi word hello am i audible or not yeah yeah i am with you sagir yes sir i have a similar I, i i just have something that i maybe it is uh, similar so in nigeria there is there was one program launched by the current government which is called n power so n power it gathers graduates that are that are unemployed and they were they was they were sent to different areas for example those who are in education they are sent to school and do some kind of teaching voluntarily and the government paid them a stipend at every end of, uh, end of the month is this kind of this uh, kind of uh, concept here is similar example uh here we can say voluntary manual labor means you do some physical activity to the particular area or particular society or community a particular locality physical physical activity valent manual labor you do some okay. physical activity okay it it may be something point. only something that is tangible only something that is if tangible it, just for, it, for example for example yes for example in your locality there is no proper road as a as a uh, uh, student you and your friends come together and do something activity like you construct one small road to your locality okay i understand i understand this thank you yes very clear yes the next concept social service uh social service means helping to the helpless helping to the helpless people social services are the services meant for the normal population you keenly observe and remember these two important points social service means helping to the helpless people 
these services meant for the normal population the aim of social service is to enhance human quality of resources in general every civilized society in order to enable its members to lead a emancipated respectful decent and dignified life and for that to promote proper personality development through optimum realization of their potential talents and abilities makes provision for varied kinds of services like health services housing services educational services recreational services social services are the services which are imagine imagined and provided by society to its members to enable them to develop optimally and help them to function effectively and to lead life decency dignity and liberty simply you remember social service helping to the helpless and these services provide to the only normal population normal people these services which are provided by society to its society members to enable them to develop optimally and help them to functions effectively their individual functions effectively and to lead life decency dignity and liberty these services directly benefit to all the members of society irrespective of their religion race language caste culture region you can provide services you can provide these social services irrespective of the all religion caste race language region culture you can provide social services to the services to all region religion people uh, these services these services is only for uh, christians these services is only for muslims no the in social services there is no barrier there is no uh, uh, particular religion social or public services are visualized and organized by society or by state or by individual as an individual you can do some social service if you have any organization if you have any ngo if you have any voluntary organization you can do through your organization or by society this social service organized by state also state here means by your country for example educational and health facilities offered by christian missionaries across the world uh, one more example sulab international an organization is there international organization they are providing basic sanitation services for the people low cost housing provided by charitable organizations so um, many organizations they are providing some social services in the area of health in the area of housing in the area of education in the in the area of recreational services number of organizations are are providing the social services even states are providing the social services even an individuals are providing the social services yes now any 
doubts regarding social service. Uh, Have you seen uh, these type of this one is services true. in your area? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, someone raised. Uh, sir, please. Uh, one minute. Hi, sir. Hello, uh, sir. What is local housing provision to organization? Yes. A uh, few organization, organizations, they are providing some housing facility to the poor for temporary arrangement. It is not uh, continuation processes. Uh, few few weeks or the particular time. Yes, again. <coughs> okay, sir. Can I add to um, yes, add something? Yes. Yes. Um, to questions of Ali Usabu, I would like to give an example to in order to paraphrase and for him to understand more. Like in Nigeria, which I believe he is from Nigeria, in Nigeria there's what Hello. The government. Hi. It is it is owned by the government and it is a process where anybody Your voice is unstable. Hi, no, hi. Your voice is not. Mahmoud. Hello, Mahmud. Sir, so I have one question. Am if you are with me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, Sam. So, uh, now, uh, like say, uh, I just uh, giving the contribution to the beggars. So uh, this can be uh, uh, social services. No, that that is particularly voluntary action, volunteerism. Okay, voluntary action. Yes. Social service means. There is uh, services to the normal population. There is no specific uh, category. Mustafa? Yes, yes, I understood, sir. But get my point. Yes. Okay. Hamad Boba. <laughs> Raised. You raised your hand, Ahmed Buba. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Hello, sir. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Just my question, what is the difference between voluntary action and voluntary labor? Voluntary action, you and do voluntary some... Voluntary labor. Yes, you do some material contribution to the needy or poor. Voluntary action or voluntarism. Voluntary manual labor means you do some activity physical activity manual labor to the society manual labor to do some physical activity to the neighborhood or community or society okay okay thank you this is clearly it is showing the manual labor physical activity okay. you construct one okay. road to in your area you 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 build uh, one uh, pond for water for animals with with your friends okay. help got my point okay okay sir the reason why i ask this question is because i work with some organizations in it okay 
sa ano sa yes yes yeah uh, my question is I Sorry. I I said something. I said something concerning this. You are saying when we say social service is something that mostly government provides for the provision of education, health, uh, hospital, poor services, and the rest. So now, if somebody, as a rich person or someone who or an organization, just uh, provide such kind of services to one local community, for example, provision of maybe boreholes to, to to local communities. So in this kind, which category? In my area, is? as a volunteer, uh, where we have adopted as well. An individual can do social service. An individual can do these social services. OK, OK, I understand. Not government only. These services provided by state means your country, like Nigerian government, mm -hmm. Or Malawi government, or voluntary organizations, or by individuals, or by society. Anyone can do, anyone can do this social service. Okay, thank you. Understood. Yes, yes sir, I have a question. So what is the difference between social service and voluntary action? Voluntary action without any organization, as a voluntarily. You do some act, uh, you yourself do some, you provide material goods to the needy people. Social service, there is no specific category. In voluntary, voluntary action, you do some material goods or cash or kind to the particular a group of people, particular category in the social service, services provide to the normal population. All this is for all. Voluntary action, the, in voluntary action, you provide services to the needy people. We discuss in the social service, irrespective of race, irrespective of religion, irrespective of caste, irrespective of uh, gender. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Sir. Hi, sir. This is Darius Network Problems. Hello. Hi. Hello. Maybe it is by his end and he is coming to a land soon. We should wait. Yeah, Mutagam, we can only hear you. We can only hear you. I think he's. But is she the the problem that wouldn't send us here? Yeah, the land from here, we can hear you. We just let for him to come back and maybe he respond to your question. Okay. And um, maybe I think uh, the problem that he is, uh, that we are facing, it is from him. Hi, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Hi, your voice is not reaching us clearly. Your voice is too low. We can't hear you loud, loud and clear. Sir, I think 
I think maybe it is your uh, by, by using earphone. Yes, maybe I think it is the problem. I think um, today we have a lot of problems. Um, I think we should let the, the, the presenter know that we have a How it is article, Mr. Papa? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I said, uh, like, what happened currently now uh, at the Turkey, uh, Turkey and the Syria? Uh, huh? Different countries are keeping a contribution to them. So, is it, uh, can we call it a voluntary or social services? No, no, it is, it is not social service. You, are, you did your job as a individual as a volunteer voluntarily you contribute something to them okay no they are many people you 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 contribute some kind or cash okay well, who could not be as ever? Excuse me, sir. Yes. yes, I have a question regarding social service. Yeah. Yes. By my understanding, when we say social service, it means something like a general that can people are doing in community or not. In social service, provide some services like health services, educational services, recreational services. Okay. In a voluntary action, voluntary manual labor is different. Here social service, irrespective of the religion, race, caste, creed, place, you can provide services to the all. Okay. Only if I got the point you. Hello? Yes, I hear you, sir. Okay. Yes, I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, next time, uh, another concept. I'm going to another concept, social policy. Uh, concept of social policy, broadly speaking, the term policy refers to the general guidelines or principles which give direction to a particular course of action by the government or by any organization. Just you remember, social policy, the particular course of action by the government or by any organization also. What is social policy exactly? General guidelines are principles which give direction to a particular course of action. If you do some activity during your BSWG oil program, you, you prepare some guidelines, you prepare some principles how to uh, complete your entire program. It is a course of action, particular course of action. Social policy can be referred to both in the plural and singular case. What is plural and what is singular? Yes, we will discuss. When referred to in the plural, it denotes comprehensive, completely and integrated set of policies in the social sectors, such as health sector, social welfare sector, education sector, social security, etc. When used in singular, the term social policy refers to a specific government policy, 
such as the policy towards the particular community. Scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, physical with disability group, women, destitutes. So here, specific group, specific government policy towards particular groups, particular communities. What about the plural? What about the plural policy? It denotes comprehensive completely an integrated set of policies. Health policy, social welfare policy, social welfare education, all policies integrated in plural social policy. In singular social policy, it is specific policy. It is the policy framed for particular group like scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, physical with a disabled people, women, destitutes, etc. The policy for providing universal education, like the quality of social policy is its a distributional or redistributional character. Thus, the concern of social policy is with social and economic justice based on the principle of equality, which means that the redistribution of social resources which should take place from the better of actions better of actions towards the wars of sections of society. Social policy is its concern with weaker and vulnerable sections of society, such as poor women, children, disabled, backward classes, so as to bring them at par with the rest of society. Just you um, focus on this point. In the society, we can observe all sections of people. We can observe rich, we can observe poor, we can observe weaker, we can observe strong, we can observe vulnerable sections, we can observe rich sections, we can observe in society. Why social policy? Their social policy we will implement. Why we why, why we will frame social policy? Who are the people? Who are the vulnerable sections of society? Like poor women, children, disabled, backward classes. So as to bring them at par with the rest of society. For example, in our BSWG OL program, 146 learners is there. I don't know, just I'm saying, for, for example, out of 146, only 46 students, they are well established, they are financially good. I'm thinking that the remaining 100 learners, they are poor. For example, you don't take a serious, just I am saying like example. I wanted to bring them at par with the rest of the remaining 46 students. That is called social policy. Who are the depressed, who are the vulnerable sections of the society? To bring them at par with the mainstream or what? par with the rest of the society, who are the rich people, who are the um, elite people in the society. For example, in India, one program is there, ICDS, Integrated Child Development Scheme. Integrated Child Development Scheme. Under this scheme, government of India initiated the program ICDS 
under this uh, scheme government provide nutritional food to the pregnant woman and below 5 years children and providing education and all round development of pregnant woman and children who are the vulnerable sections who are the vulnerable group who are the vulnerable group women and children if government don't provide these type of service these type of activities the women and children suffer with malnutrition problems once the government provide these type of uh, frame policy they will reach par with the rest of the society government provide education to the uh, below 5 year students and provide some malnut nutritional food to the pregnant women and children and pension to elderly another example Unempl unemployment support in india one uh, known employment guarantee program mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act under this act government of india providing 100 days 100 days job opportunity to the citizens who are completed 18 years of their age they can eligible for this program if a government won't frame this type of policy they cannot survive without money government providing some um, employment guarantee program job training is another example assistance to the physical with disabled people in public transport and hospitals so government or organizations frame social policy concern with weaker and vulnerable sections of society their main focus their main objective is to bring them at par with the rest of society yes anyone is there any so um, policies uh, in nigeria or malawi this uh, sir yes sir is it the social policy is closely or related to the uh, uh, public policy social policy yeah i said is it uh, it uh, it is so closely or uh, it uh, related to the uh, public policy yes yes public policy or social policy both are same synonyms similar words okay there is any there is a, these type of social policies uh, are implementing in nigeria and malawi please respond social policy regarding women social policy on children there there is any special provisions to the vulnerable sections framed by the uh, nigerian government or malawi or any organizations frame these social policies in your uh, area yes sir do you have any idea about this yes. yeah ahmed buba yes sir yes, yes. Sir. yes so let me say something about the social policy in nigeria uh -huh. yes we have a social policy in nigeria we have 
government social policy and organization, government policies and organization policies and community association policies. So yes. in in Nigeria, yes. more especially not is part of the country, we're facing some challenge of insecurity in northeast of Nigeria. So I give I give I give examples. I give examples by the organizations who has just uh, taken the responsibility of these things to help some uh, displaced person in not its zones. Mm. So they have their own policies. At the time that they come this at the time that they come to the northeast zones, they're starting to take a uh, volunteers, people among the people of the communities. So they have they have their own policies that they will tell you that you must follow these policies. Uh, they call this as a kind of conduct of the work. When you go to meet some beneficiaries, can you hear Buba, me? These policies, these policies are framed by uh, Nigerian government. No, it's not by Nigerian government. It's by organizations. Yes. Okay. Non-governmental okay. organizations. Yes, yes. Yes. I'm talking about their policies. They have their own policies for doing their yeah. own work. They have their own policies. When they are recruiting you as a volunteer or staff, you must follow their own policies. I'm talking about no. it. It's not my government. Okay. But their their policies are different. They have different policies. Organization, they, are, they have their own policies. Government, they have their own policies. And community association, yes, they have yes. their own policies. Yes. That organization, for example, you, you are saying some organization, their objectives, their uh, priorities is different with government policy. Yes. Yes. Sir. yes. Um, That's okay, what sir. I have to do, sir. Mahmoud Ibrahim. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sahib. I have a similar yeah. example. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. One by one. First, Sagir Vakili. Okay. Uh, Sagir. Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm talking. In Nigeria, there is, uh, in Kano State, Nigeria, there is one policy that says free and compulsory education in all primary schools. So this is a, this is a policy that directly affects children that are not going to school, that they must attend school and have education so that they will be better product of the society. I think this is one of the perfect goals of the social policy, right? Yes, yes, right. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Mamad um, Ibrahim. I, okay. So um, when we talk about the social policy, actually, um, there's what we call policy, there's what we call law, there's what we call enactment and that's what we call decree and yes, uh, yes. Some, of the, some of the examples here they are mentioning um laws instead of policy or enactment or decree instead of policy actually when we talk about policy is uh, policy is something that is subject to change it's flexible and it can be yes. changed anytime while law enactment or decree is something that has to be um, uniformly a presentation, maybe a process before it get um, an amendment or change. Like for example, the organization where I'm working right now, we have mm -hmm. policies, different policies. We have traveling policy, we have um, financial policy, uh, financial procedure policy. Yes, we have, yes. Um, we have um, what we call personnel policy. We have human resource policy and their likes. So these are all policies. And anytime the board members can decide and say, okay, we are not okay with this policy, let's change it and give it a meaning to something that will be very convenient for everybody to accommodate. While uh, even the Nigerian government recently, they do have um, what we call policies regarding humanitarian space. Any humanitarian organization that is doing a lot of activities humanitarianly possible must follow those process must follow those policies because we don't have them in the constitution and constitution is something that is generally accepted in the whole country 
that everybody, yes. either, we, either you are from the northern part of the country or you are from the southern part of the country, is something you must abide by if you want to live in the country. So that one yes. is not subject to change. It's too rigid to change. For changing the constitution, the yes. Senate, have, the, the uh, uh, National, House, uh, National House of Assembly members have to see it, have to decide, it have to go a lot of process before it change. But for policy, but for policy, policy can be changed anytime. And policy are something that is just affecting a small community or a specific target group. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. You are you are saying too. Yeah, policy is based on your organization, your within the organization organization there is a financial policy social policy economic policy HR, is there in the context of social policy our ultimate goal or ultimate object is to bring them who are the vulnerable sections in the society to bring them at par with the rest of the society it is social policy okay anyone Uh, Aliyu Sabo, sir, skills acquisition training center, can we regard them as social policy? No, which, which one uh, started this training center by the government or by the NGO? Yes, by the NGO, sir. Okay. Then, so, uh, the organization frame the policy. So can I can I can I respond to his question? Yes, so, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so what he is asking is um, something that we call skills acquisition training, or rather artisan skills training. It's something that has to do with uh, training participants on um, either soft skills or in a way where they will be um, equipped with the knowledge, either hand, uh, hard on hard skills or soft skills, where they will be able to stand on themselves, take care of themselves there by initiating business or something. So it might be a policy for the organization to initiate this kind of skills application training, but rather for people, this is just a program, or you may call it a project by the organization. So it is a project initiated by organization. Maybe it is part of their policy to initiate this, maybe within a certain period yes. of time something. But actually, this is, not, yes. uh, this is not a policy. Policy is more like a law. It's more like a uh, enactment or a decree. But actually, what skills acquisition training is a project or a program. Thank you. It, it, is, a, it is a temporary project. It is a project. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, next concept, social welfare services. Social welfare services are designed for the weaker sections of society or services for particular groups of people. Social welfare services are also allow services provided to the weaker sections of the community so as to help them to reach the mainstream of society. These welfare services Framed under policies. Welfare services are meant to benefit the weaker, dependent, or underprivileged sections of the population. The beneficiaries of these services may be physically handicapped persons, such as the blind, the deaf, or crippled, socially dependent individuals, like the orphan, the widow or the destitute, mentally retarded persons, economically, economically underprivileged groups. A comprehensive social welfare program would include social legislation, welfare of women, children, 
family welfare, youth welfare, and correctional administration, and welfare of the physically and mentally handicapped people. So here, here we can see social welfare services designed for the weaker sections of society. Earlier we discussed social services, helping to the helpless people, providing, provide services to the normal population. In here, social welfare services, services are designed for the weaker sections of society or particular group services for particular groups of people social welfare services allow services provide to the weaker sections of the community why the social services provide to the weaker sections to help them to reach the mainstream of society Who are the beneficiaries of these services? Maybe physical with a disability people, socially dependent individuals like orphans, widow, or destitute, mentally retarded persons, economically underprivileged groups. A comprehensive social welfare program would include social legislation, welfare of women and children. Here, I can say two, three examples. Narayana Seva Sansthan, Udaipur, Rajasthan State, uh, India. The organization, Narayana Seva Sansthan, is a non-profit charity organization with uh, more than 480 branch branches and across the India. They are providing artificial limbs or legs to who lost their uh, organs in the accidents or uh, due to different reasons. And they are providing free education and meals, providing special guidance education to the deaf and dumb. They are providing special services to the physical, physically and mentally handicapped people. And another organization, Shankar Netralaya, the organization. It's a non-profit missionary institute for optimal, optimal care they, they are providing services in the sir please can you zoom it yes Yes, anyone uh, respond to social These welfare services framed under social policy only. Yes, Mustafa. So so is it a social welfare a, a, is it the only a, activities or action a, from government or a, there is a, some organization that will take this responsibility of the social welfare service because a, according to some a, philosopher a, david Stone, say that the primary uh, 
responsible for the government is to provide social welfare to it a citizen so read the only uh, activities for the government not only activities by the government but also by the voluntary organizations or non governmental organizations Welcome. Any more? Okay. Um, can I say something regarding this, sir? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, recently my network had an issue. I locked out and I locked back, but at least I got a grab of what we we are talking about, like supporting the less privileges. Like there's what we call um PWDs here. PWDs as people with people with disability. So yes. there are specific supports we initiated or we used to, according to our own organizational policy, we used to give to this kind of people. Sometimes, like um, um, the ones that do, uh, the yeah the blind ones, we give them a, a supporting uh, medical support. Yes, medical support, and also initiated a, initiate a class for them where. Um, someone who can teach them according to their own level and make them comprehend very well, invite them, or deaf people, where we invite people that will teach them in a demonstrative way in their own category of learning and they comprehend what the message is saying. And also, uh, the people that have issues with their legs who couldn't walk, we also provide support by providing them maybe. A vehicle for them to move around in order not to suffer and eat, to suffer or stuff like that. And these are just initiations by our own organization, not by the government, but rather a support for what we call PWDs. Only they are the weaker people in the community. They need support. They need this to survive. They need this. To survive. So we provide that smaller, um, or rather basic need necessities for them to survive and enjoy their life at the, the level of uh, at their own level. So thank you for that. So your organization provide uh, assistance to the physical with the disability people only. Yes. Yes, yes, we do that. Yes. So your particular group of people, you your organization has chosen a particular group of people. Okay. No, uh, actually, we according to our own policy. Um, we have a diverse um, areas of concentration, like diverse spaces where we operate. But we have some little, little initiations to support some people that are mostly maybe outside our own policy, but we can initiate something in order to support their life and make their life better. But actually what we do in the organization is to uh, is something different, but we can initiate this just to support them and other people as well. We can just initiate something for children only, or we can initiate a project or program for women only, or for widows or whatever. But we have our own mandate. We have our own organizational mandate where we we focus, and that's where our area of spe specialization is. But we do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hamad Buba. Yes, sir. Yes. Can I say something? Yes. Adding to what Mahmoud said about the NGO. Yes. What what I understood by social welfare service is that like I see some organizations did in my communities, they work under health health sector. They were support people who have a disabilities. Yes. Are you hearing me, sir? Uh -huh. They, they yes, are yes. just support people who have who have disabilities. Some are blind. So some are, have mental issues. Also, they provide them a medicine. Also, they help them with everything that make them become a. Normally, like other people, 
I just saw it that some organization did it in my community. That's why I say what I understood by social welfare. Okay. Yeah, the phone, phone is in. Uh, yes, now you speak. Hello, sir. Uh -huh, yes. Can you hear me? Oba. Yes, now, now it yes, is. Sir, can... mm -hmm. What I say, I say what I understand by social welfare service. I do, I see some organizations in my community did that. They have provided support to the people who are have disabilities, like some have disabilities of oh. blind, and some they are they have mentality issues. So they support them with medicine oh. of the issues. Can you just put it in the side and protect it from the Thank you. Okay. Uh, another concept, social security. Security, that is, you know, freedom from danger or risk is one of the accepted needs of people. Every person wants protection against any type of unexpected event which may be in danger. His or her safety and threaten the stability of individual income. The security has been guaranteed to people through various types of institutions, which have been fast changing. Initially, this security was being provided through the institution of family and occupational guilds, and more so through the joint family system and castes in India. In Indian context, I can say, who who are the born who are the infant born in the family the family take care about the infant up to the particular age up to the age settlement so here we can say who are the guardian who are the security of the particular individual is family this this security was being provided by the institution of family earlier there is a joint family system is there in india now um, due to um, liberalization privatization globalization modernization uh, was happened now um, nuclear family nuclear family number is increasing the joint families number is decreasing so earlier there, there is a some um, Security was um, provided by the family institution. So here, the basic purpose of sec social security is to protect people from risks, such as accidents, illness, disease, old age, etc which damage to a person's ability to support himself and his family. There are three major shapes of uh, social security. Social insurance, social assistance, public or social services. What is the basic purpose of social security? Simply, we can say to protect people from risks, people from danger, people, people from accidents, people from illness, people from diseases, protect, protect people from diseases. Here I can say a suitable example, protect people from old age. The government of India and state governments providing some old age pension to the individuals who are completed their age 60 years um, different states in india following uh, different parameters few states they are following 60 after 60 
uh, after completion of 60 years, the ind an individual eligible for old age pension. Few states after 62 years, after completion of 62 years, an individual eligible for old age pension. So here, the individual protect from his old age. Government giving some assistance to him. And one more uh, scheme, assistance to the physical with disability. Who are the physically and mentally handicapped people there, they are eligible for differently abled pension scheme and widow pension and health insurance is there, Pradhan Mantri Swast Bhima Yojana. If you stuck in any accident, illness or disease, you can eligible for uh, this health insurance Pradhan Mantri Swastha Bhima Yojana. In this scheme, there is some uh, you know, individual to pay some uh, initial amount, initial uh, pay. The health insurance, health insurance scheme, if you take this policy, health insurance policy, if any unwanted accidents, unwanted illness or diseases, the individual eligible for this Pradhan Mantri Swastha Bhima Yojana, under this Bhima Yojana, the individual gets some 2 lakhs or 5 lakhs amount for his treatment or illness or disease. Government will um, provide under this scheme Pradhan Mantri Swastha Bhima Yoji. So the, these are the some uh, securities, major shapes of social securities by the government in the name of social insurance, social assistance and social services. Do you have any experience in your country, either Nigeria or in Malawi? There is any social insurance or public assistance programs or schemes are there? Sir. Hi, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, in Nigeria here, uh, uh, importantly in the uh, northern Nigeria, like what my colleague said, we are we are facing insecurity. So there is uh, some organization, uh, uh, some organization uh, for the security of the community. Uh, it is voluntary. Uh, uh, their aims and objective is to provide the security in in our community or in our uh, locality. But uh, it is not uh, from government, but it is just volunteer. They have experience uh, about forest because those bandits are uh, living at forest. So those people who come together and organize themselves uh, to provide security for the people so i think uh, is it uh, can we call it social security we call it a vigilante Acha, vigilance team for example you are in your case your family take care about you we can say it is social you will say your security I'm, I'm speaking about social security by the state. 
by the government okay um can i say something okay, uh, ibrahim mohammed I... uh, yes yes okay so um with regard to social security uh -huh. um in nigeria um there is what we call um uh maybe nsis that national health insurance scheme is a social security that provides health services to less privileged where you would be paying small amount annually which you would be having access to medical services throughout the year without paying any dime or any uh, any naira or anything without paying any money throughout the year and that will be uh, something that you are entitled to as your health security throughout the year and recently one of the state governments uh, some of the state governments within the country are initiating such kind of activities to provide so um, health security to people and also um to citizens rather and also uh, there are some as just abdul salam had mentioned in local in some local communities you find out there are some voluntary people that are providing social security within their own community and okay. some, some of them are not actually government initiation but later on they got adopted by the government because the government likes what they are doing so yes. i think this is what yes. this, this is what comes to my head with regard to this social security okay. thank you um, compared with uh, developed countries like USA and UK and other developed countries, underdeveloped and developing countries, these social security initiatives compared with developed countries, it is very uh, less. Yes. Sir, I have, Buba. I have some. Buba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Can you, yeah, can can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes. Sure, you are, uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay. So I want to say something regarding social security in Nigeria. Can you hear Hello? me, sir? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I say yes. I want to say something regarding social security in Nigeria. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Share your experience. Uh -huh. Especially, uh -huh. especially, especially in the not is part of the country where i have living now sir we're facing some challenge of the insecurity what we call boko haram so government has been government has been government has been his best to protect us from this insecurity that we are facing in our communities because of insecurities government provide security more and um, i want to say that especially if you divide security in nigeria divided security uh, i mean i mean in nigeria in a hundred percent of the security 70 percent of the security they are all in the northeast part of the country because of insecurity that we are facing they are sir. So government has doing anything to protect us, to protect our facilities. Also, when even though you can, even though you want to travel for some place or somewhere, government cannot leave you go as an individual. They escorting you where you have to go. They attach you a security who they have protect you from where. Okay. Huh. You are saying, you are saying something, yeah. Okay, Sagir. Sagir. Sagir Vakili. Hi, Hello? Sagir. Are you sleeping? Okay. Anas Alisu. Anas, Anas. Uh, can I say something? Yeah. I'm here to contribute on what yes, yes. on security. Uh, like here, we in Nigeria, in Kano, 
there is some some uh, there is a security that we call Hizba. Before they are not uh, they are not governmental organization, uh, non-governmental uh, security. They are working with the clerics. At the end of the day, the government avoid them by the law. They are working with the government now. They are governmental uh, uh, governmental security. They help the government in order to solve the problems of people in the community, most especially around the houses of the people. If, uh, if from this house to the other house, something happened, they will, before they go to the police station, they will go and make their, uh, they, they will enter their, what am I going to say? They are the ones to be, the ones to settle them before going to the police station because they are the ones close to them before the police station. If the thing did not make sense, then they will take them to the police station in order to solve their case. Is this going to be a security issue? Okay. Okay, uh, today I'm concluding this session. Um, so far, uh, we have discussed uh, um, the basic social work concepts like charity, voluntary action, voluntarism, voluntary manual labor, social service, social policy, social welfare services, and lastly, social security. Uh, tomorrow class we will, tomorrow session we will discuss the remaining uh, um, concepts like social network, how the voluntary organizations or how the NGOs work together, like NGO network and social work concept, social network and social work concepts and social work as a profession how emerged and the development of uh, social work in united states of america and uk these concepts uh, this content we will discuss uh, next class tomorrow tripathi sir Hello. Hello, sir. RC Bhuneshwar. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, Mustafa. Uh, sir, uh, before the lecture uh, finish, uh, sir, please, uh, I need a little uh, more explanation about uh, social policy because I have uh, confused on it. Yes, uh, here uh, today we discussed uh, similar concepts. So all uh, more or less all similar social service, social welfare, uh, social charity, voluntary action, voluntary manual labor. All are um, the similar uh, concepts. Social policy, here we uh, discussed social policy is the two uh, pluralistic form and singularistic form. In the yes. pluralistic, we focus comprehensive or complete all uh, like health, education, employment in one um, category. One more is singularistic uh, firm, you focus only only one group. I, I gave one example in India, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. So the specific group are women, are destitute, are children. We frame policy only for the particular group, singularistic one. The second one is pluralistic form. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. God bless Nigeria. Okay. God bless India. Okay. ಇಬ್ರಾಹಿಂಪ್ಯು ಜನಸಾಯಿ <laughs> 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 ಕುಕೆ <laughs> 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 <laughs>